Hello and welcome back. So in the next few lectures, we're going to mention a couple of different tools that you can use to monitor your own device. Now, these tools can be useful, for example, in tracking a threat or discovering a threat on your system. So let's get straight into it. The tool that we are going to cover in this lecture is called Process Explorer. Now, Process Explorer is a tool for Windows and it's made by Microsoft. So you can download it from the Microsoft official website right at this link. You can just type Process Explorer in your search bar, go to the Microsoft.com and download the latest version, which in this case is 16.43. You click on here to download it. And once you download it, you should be left with these files right here. Now, if you're running a 64-bit machine, which you most likely are, you want to click on PROC EXP 64. Double click on that. It might ask you for administrator password. If it does, just give the password and it should open a tool that looks something like this. Now, Process Explorer is something similar to Task Manager, just a little bit, or should I say, a lot more advanced. You can see all the processes running in the background. You can see the CPU usage. You can see the process ID. And it also gives some other columns such as description and company name for all of these processes. Now, this tool is also useful when you want to discover whether a malware is infecting your machine. The first thing that you would ideally want to look is something that you don't really recognize. For example, VirtualBox VM.exe is running because I currently have Virtual Machine open. And that's why I know that it should run. But if you notice a process that you don't really know what it is, you don't recognize it, then maybe it's time to investigate. First thing to always check is whether that process has description or company name. Usually a process should be legit if it has a company name, such as for example, VirtualBox says Oracle Corporation. All of these different Microsoft processes have Microsoft Corporation under the company name. But if you discover something that doesn't have a company name, then maybe you want to investigate further. For example, to investigate further, you also want to check the column verified signer. Now to do that, you want to go to options and you want to click on verify signatures. In just a few seconds, you should get this column, which will tell you which of these processes are verified signatures. We can see all of these are verified Microsoft Windows signatures. And if you find a process such as, for example, this one that says no signature was present in the subject, then that process is something to investigate furthermore. In my case, it's this one and these ones right here. They do have company name, so I'm pretty sure that they are Microsoft, but for example, this one, even though it's called Microsoft Photos.exe, doesn't have company name and doesn't have a signature, so it would definitely be useful to check it out. To figure out whether any of these processes is malicious, you can scan it with VirusTotal. And VirusTotal is a website that offers a file scan with multiple antiviruses. You just upload an image that you want to scan and VirusTotal will scan it with over 50 different antivirus vendors and tell you whether any one of them detects that file that you uploaded as a malicious software. To use it with the Process Explorer, all we have to do is click on Options, click on Virus Total, and check Virus Total. You will notice this column appear, and it will say Hash Submitted. All we have to do is wait for a few seconds, and after the scan is finished, you should see a number right here that tells you how many antivirus vendors detected all of these processes as malicious. In my particular case, none of these processes is being detected by any of the antivirus vendors. As we can see, 0 out of 74 antivirus detected this as malicious, so all of these processes are not malicious, at least according to all of the antivirus softwares. 
Now, a process can be investigated further if that's what we need to do. For example, even though this Microsoft Photos.txt wasn't detected by any of these 74 antivirus vendors, we can still investigate it a little bit further. We can right click, go on properties and check out under TCP IP whether this process performs any type of network connections. In this particular case, it doesn't, so that's good. We can check out all the other options if we want. We can check out the strings inside of this process or inside of this executable. And what's even more interesting is this down here that opens up. Now, this is the loaded DLLs that this process uses. To open the loaded DLLs, because you won't have this window open by default, you want to select the process and click Control D. Once you click Control D, this window should open up and you should have all the DLLs that this process uses. You will also see that VirusTotal automatically scanned all of these DLLs to check out whether they're malicious. So if we go a little bit down, check out all the results, it doesn't seem that any antivirus caught any of these DLLs to be malicious, which is also good. So that is the basics of using Process Explorer. That's how you can investigate different files. Of course, this can go even deeper. If you want, you can investigate even more this process, check out the properties, check out everything that it has. You want to check out manually which DLL it loads and see whether some DLL is loaded from an irregular directory or whether there's some DLL that shouldn't be there. And you also want to check out the description and company name of all of these DLLs just to make sure that it's legit. Now, besides Process Explorer, you can also use a tool called Process Monitor. It's also a tool from Microsoft and you can download it the same way that we downloaded the Process Explorer. Just search Process Monitor and type Microsoft.com and you should have the download page that looks similar to this one where you can download the Process Monitor tool. Nonetheless, this is how we can investigate and take a look at whether some file is malicious inside of our Windows environment. And you also notice that Process Explorer is a lot more useful and more advanced than Task Manager. We can't really do this many stuff with Task Manager. Nonetheless, thank you for watching this lecture and I will see you in the next one.